Hey guys, we are back. We had the most fabulous holiday. Something you didn't know, we were in Mexico. I shared more over on Instagram. But I did also take a few little snippets, which I will insert here. So we went to Tulum in Mexico, which is about a two hour drive from Cancun. If you're flying from London, Cancun is where you'll want to fly to. And it's about 11 hour flight, so it's quite a way. And what we could suss out from Tulum is that there are two main like tourist places to stay, either the town or the beach. As you can see from this, we stayed on the beach, um, which is a little strip. We'll be honest, when we arrived, it felt like a little bit like somewhere like Malaga. It felt like a strip, which was a party, but we ended up in this absolute oasis of a hotel right at the end of that strip called Olas. And it was like actual paradise. I always love having a little look at the rooms. So this room actually looked out onto the beach. So you can see that, um, some netting here because of the flies. The view is just like a deserted island almost. And this hotel was actually all solar panelled, so we didn't have any aircon, we just had the breeze at night. And initially we were a little bit concerned about this, but we have never slept better. It was absolutely amazing. And the rest of the hotel was a little bit rustic. I, um, I absolutely loved the bathroom. It was quite dark, unfortunately, I didn't have a window, but the tiles were so, so beautiful. So we couldn't use any, I couldn't use any hair tools here, so I had no hair dryer or hair straighteners but it was just absolute bliss. And the whole kind of like ethos of the place is very much togetherness. So the breakfast tables are one long table and you all sit together kind of like a bit more communally. And it just felt so accepting and usually something that we wouldn't go for, but the vibe of this place we loved and we'll really truly never forget it. Here we had our own little private garden with a hammock that also looked down to the beach. And I loved reading my book here. Of course we couldn't go abroad without sussing some of the interior shops and we found this place, I think it's called something like Macario Gomez, it's a town. And we drove through and they had all of these wonderful shops. This one I particularly liked, really wanted to take home a sink. Unfortunately that wouldn't fit in my uh, baggage and not sure it would look right in the UK, but it was so lovely to see. We picked up a Christmas decoration and some glasses and there was also lots of crafts going on. So in this one they were making wood items um, and lovely, kind of like, I think it's macrame, lots of like macrame dream catcher type things and these pots, which um, yeah, I may have brought one of the smaller ones of those home. From a distance I asked Ollie for the bike with a basket. <laughs> this is like brand new. We are gonna bike on it. So this is like the entrance to our hotel. And the hotel is just back here. <laughs> Can you ride it? Ollie Hurt is next today diving off a board. We're so old. This is what 30 is now. Um you're gonna find this really weird. Why? It's a back pedaler, so there's no brake. You have to back pedal <gasps> for the brake. No. Yeah. It's fine, it's, it's, quite, it's quite simple. But I've never ridden one before, but I've heard about them. Okay. okay. We spent the first few days just biking around, trying to like suss out the whole area, of course having a few tequilas too. And you know when you're first on holiday, you kind of want to like build your holiday confidence with the place that you're in. And so we just enjoyed relaxing for the first few days, ate a lot of Mexican food. The food there was fabulous. One thing that upset me there is that there were a lot of stray dogs. That one wasn't a stray, he, he had a family, but there were a huge amount. And probably one of the best things we did the next day was the Cayenne so Cian, I'm not, probably not saying that right, reserve. The most epic thing I think we've done in a very, very long time. We got them before opening at 8 a.m. and I felt that we were treated like royalty. We had the whole place to ourselves and we got a little tour down at the mangroves. And what they do here is they actually let you out um, to just drift down a little mangrove area. It's about half an hour and you wear the life jackets as a bit, they call it like a nappy. So you put them over your legs and just float. And I, I feel like I've never felt as calm in my whole life. It was really, really beautiful just being with nature and the water was insane.
we actually did quite a bit more than just these few snippets. We also went to Chichen Itza, but if you're interested in any of that, head over to my Instagram because I got a lot more photo footage and um, I'll do a little bit of a rundown over there too. And by the ruins here, we also encountered our first animal there, which was a very loud monkey. Now, because we booked so last minute, we actually stayed in two different places. And I love this because they were such a vast, different vibe. Olas was basically an eco lodge, and this was very much a normal hotel. So this one had very cool interiors. The room had a very minimal vibe. Isn't great if you're wanting to take clothes because there was nowhere to put it. We also had um, a beach view with this one and they had a pool and a restaurant. It was a lot more like a hotel here, but I have to say, Olas was by far our favorite. Now you can't go to Mexico without visiting Seno and we visited quite a few. We really liked this one, we actually much preferred the ones which were open rather than too cave-like. The cave-like ones were very chilly and I enjoyed being in the sunshine whilst we were there. The blue water of the ones in the sunshine too is just really, really beautiful and obviously made you want to get in the swim. So much so, this one had... I I mean, I think they called it a crocodile, but we're pretty sure this was an alligator. And this is Ollie in the water swimming with it. I stayed in the kayak at this point, even though I did get in the swim. I wasn't going to risk my life, but um, Ollie was tempted. So although we had the holiday planned, it was kind of to coincide with my 30th birthday. We did book it quite last minute. I miss it. I'm not going to lie. I miss the warm sunshine so badly. Although the sun is shining today and today I'm off to get my dress altered. Well, this is the second time my dress is actually with the dress alterations lady and it should have done a few things when I go and see it today. So I'm really excited to see it and I think today she's going to be taking my measurements. But it's quite close to some reclamation yards. So I think there's Glastonbury and Wells. One of them I've been to and I got the floorboards from. And I'm looking forward to seeing what they have today. I do have my eye out for a Victorian mantelpiece. But I think they're going to be quite expensive at these reclamation yards. Um, but we'll see. I'll take you along. I'm excited to get out and about today. So one thing about holidays is that like you're up and out every day. And usually in the outside, in nature, which... In the winter is always difficult here. Oh, and also, my birthday party is why I have all of these extreme flowers still around. But you will see snippets of that, I think, coming in next week's video. The dress fitting went really well. It's so exciting to see it come together. And now I'm at Glastonbury Reclamation. Um, this isn't the one that I came to. I must have gone to Wells, which I think is literally just up the road. So I'm going to head there too. Um, and I'm already excited looking around. It's quite nice because I don't particularly have something that I'm looking for apart from a fireplace mantle and there was something else I keep forgetting. But yeah, let's have a little search, see what's here. First little barn. These aren't quite what I was looking for. That one's gorgeous though. And they've got some really lovely radiators here. Ah, oh, these would take quite a bit of restoring. How amazing would this one be somewhere? <laughs> and I mean, if I had a big enough garden, I'd buy that swing set. Also floorboards, they always have a few. These don't quite look, these like, like, they were similar to the ones that we picked up, a little bit more pinky. Ah, oh, an amazing bit of oak. I mean, that's got some detail. I always wonder where they pick up things like this. Like, that's huge for reference. <laughs> Let's definitely come from abroad. Probably should look what I actually came for. There seems to be a lot of like roof tiles and general tiles here rather than like furniture bits, but I think some of their, let me spin you around and I'll show you oh my car. It's actually just parked here. Um, and I'm in this barn area, but they've got some small ones over here, which I think are going to have furniture in. Um, but all of this here is all like tiles and everything. 
The sun's shining, guys. The sun is shining. Spring is here. You can't see it very well. I'm in one of the furniture rooms. Um, but I think this one's gorgeous, but I think it could be the kids. It rocks really smoothly and it's a lovely colour. You can see, I feel like it's been restored. But it is <laughs> it's at least quite low to the ground. Now tell me, is that for kids? Don't want to break it. Well, it holds my weight. Seems a bit small though. Don't want to break it. The road and wind is quite noisy here, so I'm not sure you can hear me. But I am loving these. I don't think they're that old. I mean, they are rusted. Oh, 130 day. I feel like I need to have more of a purpose for them if I'm going to get those. This shape here is lovely though. Really love that one. Maybe when we properly planned our garden. And this chair here is pretty much what I want for our garden. 185, that's actually not so bad for an oak chair right now. Bench, sorry, it's a bench. Found a little fireplace section, and actually there is one right by the door that could be an option. Unfortunately, you can see it there. It's not together. But it looks like a Carrera marble. It looks new, which is a shame. Um, but it's 745. I think I could find cheaper on Facebook or eBay, those kind of things. But there just aren't any around at the moment. Like I'm struggling to find them. So if you guys know of any, <laughs> any that I can get anywhere, let me know. I have been just looking at like the reproduction um, Carrera ones online. And I think the most simple design of those is about 550 pounds. I would have liked to have got something a little bit more in keeping, something a bit old. I'm happy for it to be a bit discolored. Uh, they're just not easy to find. It looks like there's also a Marvel one here, but. I think that's right. I'm not sure that looks Victorian. Having said that, I'm not actually sure how that goes together. Oh, it's, it's massive. That's okay, yeah. That is too big, too big for our bedroom. Mm, looking at this one again, it looks a bit shiny. It's a bit shiny, isn't it? I might as well buy a brand new one offline. It's so lovely and warm in here. It's like a greenhouse. We've got some little handle treasures we don't actually need any of these but i still love looking you know you never know what you might find and lots of other random things ah uh, this looks like it could be more fireplaces actually quite a few of these but they're a bit more art deco not quite in fitting with our house and sinks and toilets oh my gosh this pink one I don't want it. Just made it to Wells and this is the one that we got our flooring. I will show you it. A lot of you asked about where we picked up our flooring. It wasn't exactly the same, so um, they're not old Victorian pine floorboards, but they are pine floorboards. So if you're looking to do the same thing, if you're missing some floorboards, one every now and then probably won't matter. Like if you're just like piecing them in with um, some of the your original or some other reclaimed. But for what we did, we needed like a whole room. If we weren't staining it dark, I wouldn't recommend doing this because they have like a slightly different colour, like they're slightly pinker toned, probably just purely because they're newer, they're probably slightly different pine, not even really sure. And you cannot get boards as long as the original ones, like the originals are so beautifully long. Like if you think about our master bedroom, not quite sure of the size, but they literally span the whole length of the room, you won't be able to find them anywhere. And I think as well, finding them as slim is really possible, but these were the closest ones that I could find, obviously in our local area, we had to pick them up. So we didn't want to be driving too, too far. So we wanted to stay in Somerset. Anyway, let's see what they've got for us today. I'm, I'm basically just looking for fireplaces. I am quite taken with some of the garden stuff, especially because the sun's now shining, but we're not doing the garden this year. Now these are pretty. 
Look at the detail on those. You see, they've been tested. Can't see a price though. There's a ton of them. You could have them all over the house. I mean, I'm tempted to find out how much they are, but I think they're a bit big for our house. Probably. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Turned around and there's more behind me. Oh my, oh my. They're so pretty, actually, these. <laughs> these are so much, they're probably more the size. There we one. I'll have to show them to Ollie and see. See, I didn't bring a tape measure with me. But with these, I think you can make them like here. You can obviously size them a little bit to what size you want. And they have quite a few of those. Again, I think those might go back fully. And they have tons of the bigger ones. Ah. That one might say leak. So maybe, maybe these are not in such good repair. This place has so much stuff. I don't know where they get it from, but it's insane. It's like worth a visit just to come and look at everything that they have. Tempted, tempted by one of these. I love this shape. I also like the ones behind. Unfortunately, this I would have got this one, but it's got a little chip there. Did I need more knickknacks? Did I need more pots? No, it's echoing in the pot. Just look at these. Where do you pick those up? Where do you find something like that? Insane. I'd be so interested in the people who run this. Is it like the coolest job ever? finding all of these unusual treasures. I mean, I presume that you don't sell them that quickly, but I'm sure there were a few things here last time that aren't here anymore that were pretty unusual. Anyway, I'm gonna head back to the car. I think I might head home now. I need to look for some wedding shoes. I'm a little bit late on that. And it's cheaper definitely to just go to charity shops or look online. So that's what I'll have to do. Well, yesterday afternoon when I got back didn't exactly go as I had planned and I feel dreadful because I went on a holiday and I skipped a week of my videos and I was hoping to come back with a cheery video and to get stuck back into things. But unfortunately I got back yesterday and sat down and had my lunch, checked my emails and I had some bad news to be honest. Nothing. Everybody's healthy, everybody's safe, and I'm thanking my lucky stars for that. Um, and I can't, I know it's so annoying, but I can't, don't feel like I can go into it right now because we're not quite sure as to what's happened, but feeling quite obsessed about it. Even though it's just, I know, priorities, you've got to really think about them at these times. But I hope I'll be able to explain a little bit more in detail at some point so that you know why I put up such a crap video this week, basically. Um, but I did spend yesterday afternoon basically just hyperventilating, crying, and I thought that it was important for me to just not end the video with a bit of text, but to actually come on here and be like, life has highs and life has lows, and that's the stark difference between this video <laughs> from start to finish. Um, so yeah, I am really sorry. I was hoping to show you the plumbing that we had done whilst we were away and start tidying out the master bedroom a bit, but I'll be honest, I just haven't had the strength to do it today. Oh, yeah, yesterday, yesterday I was in no, no fit place to be doing it either. But I thought I would show you just the few things that I picked up yesterday and also the things that I picked up whilst we were away because they were a bit ridiculous really. <laughs> so here's our little next coast stash. Of course, we had to get a Christmas decoration to go on our fun tree. I love this green. All of them were so bright, um, so we embraced that. A random dark wooden spoon, but I just fell in love with this one, so I thought I'd bring it home. And right now it has been sitting there. These glasses I just couldn't leave. They're definitely summer glasses, but they're just so cheery. Um, we actually, on the way back, if you are in the area on the ride driving from Tulum to Cancun, they actually have a glass factory, which is not where we got these, but I saw it on the way back to the airport and I was like, damn, I wish we'd gone in there. Um, yeah, we picked up those 
in the store that you would have seen earlier, the like ceramic store, they also had some glassware. And then this is the hilarious thing. Yes, I bought back this pot, which is basically just cement, nothing special. And it is, it's pretty heavy, I'll be honest. And we had quite a lot of weight in our um, baggage. So I was like, why not? It's a memory. It's not like, it's not the most special thing, but it will remind us of Mexico. And I think it will go, beautifully on the shelves in the snug. And then over here, what I picked up yesterday, you can spy in the background when I'm climbing in the caterpillars, did I turn three or 30? Um, and another pot. Do I need it? I'm not really sure. Actually, I think I do need it. The snug shelves still need filling and I think this one will also go beautifully in the snug shelves. And I picked up a few of these before and I just, I just think they're so handy for just popping next to other items, like for example, Maybe not all three of those together, but that one, that one, and something else. So yeah, they are the goodies that I picked up. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who has bought something back really heavy from holiday. But uh, yeah, I guess I just want to say a big thank you to you guys for always being so supportive. Um, because this is not just my job, but it's also very much my life. And um, sometimes it's really hard to just bypass those times that aren't so good. But... I have learnt definitely in my 30 years now of being alive that I know so many people say like lean into your feelings and um, take care of yourself which I will be doing but I can't lean into my feelings and I know that I've definitely learned that my feelings right now will be telling me to crawl into a ball and just hide for the rest of the week but I know that I actually need to do the opposite the best thing for me is to keep active and keep doing things so hopefully in the next video we'll definitely in the next video, you're seeing my 30th birthday party evening day. And then after that, we will be back to the bedroom renovations. I'll take you around the plumbing. And uh, we're getting the floor up. We're also getting electrician in. So yes, lots of positive things ahead, which I need to keep reminding myself of. But yeah, big thank you. I hope you guys are all okay at the moment. And I will see you soon. Bye.